Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Anna. And I'm Nick. And today we're gonna talk about getting tattoos in Krakow, Poland. Okay, so okay. we're having a seat. We're yeah. gonna get started. Have a seat. We're gonna talk about it. Calm down. Let's, okay, all right, we're good. You're good. We're good. This is good. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the worst part is, is I have to go back and relive to relive this. Just spit water all over the floor. Great. <laughs> so we got a couple of things that we're gonna talk about. Yep. We got water all on my face, that's totally fine. Like a lot of people have been asking us like, what are some of the things that you have planned for your international trip? And you know, a lot of times with obviously food, drink, all of the, the good stuff when you travel. But one of the things that we want to do is uh, getting tattoos, uh, at least one from sort of every place that we go to. So we're just taking it next level. Yeah. So instead of collecting souvenirs, collecting we decided to collect tattoos. Um, to both of our mothers, we're sorry and we love you. No space in our luggage, no, hey? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so why not collect these tattoos along the way? <laughs> so today in our video, we're going to be going over a few couple questions that a lot of people have been asking us on collecting tattoos, getting tattoos internationally. So let's hop straight in. So why? Why, so why are, are we, we doing this? Tattoos? I think this is the biggest question your mother has. I think everybody has this question. We sort of answered it in our intro, like it takes up less space and it's something <laughs> that we're able to. <laughs> justifying it. You know, it just isn't something we gotta pack in our luggage. It's yeah. just permanently on our bodies. It's something that you and I like always talked about was like, oh, like, we should get tattoos. We should get more tattoos. Like we both had tattoos before starting to travel. It's a cool collection, right? Where there's more meaning behind yeah. it. Um, well, also like everybody thoughts. takes pictures while they're on vacation. Everybody takes videos. I think it's one thing to have those, but it's another thing to have a piece of art. Uh, yeah. permanently on your body from where you where you traveled. So that was sort of the logic behind behind getting those. What sparked all of this too was the first time that like you and I, after we got married, we did get matching tattoos. And we decided to do this. This was, you know, we got married October 30th of 21. So this was still kind of like during COVID time. So we didn't really have a honeymoon planned, but there were a couple of days we ended up going to New Orleans, which is one of our favorite cities to travel in America. And we decided ahead of time, we're like, you know what? Like we're married. Let's, let's take, get some tattoos. Let's get some tattoos. <laughs> Here we are. So I think too, that's kind of like what sparked this interest, right? Of getting tattoos in different cities because that's where this whole process started of researching, trying to find a tattoo artist, making the appointments ahead of time. And then we were like, okay, like, like we're moving every month now. Like let's keep the ball rolling and like yeah. start collecting. So I think the New Orleans tattoos is what kind of sparked all of this to begin with as well. How do you find artists, good, reliable tattoo artists abroad? Um, as much as everybody who follows us probably thinks I'm the mastermind behind the travel, the planning, the everything. Uh, no, I have a pretty minimal role when it comes to, to planning what we're going to do. Not because I don't care, but because she's way better at it. Mm -hmm. You've all heard in the past um, videos that we've done what happens when we put Nick in charge of booking things, like yeah. one of our last Airbnbs. Um, so the whole process of finding tattoo artists, right? I have a specific style or like things that I want done, like same for you. So we're not trying to like risk it. We're not trying to risk it for the biscuit, you know, like this is something that's permanently going on our bodies. So in regards to the process of finding artists, I've found that Instagram is literally the best resource to find artists, mainly due to the search engine and like, you know, what we'll do is, you know, Krakow tattoo artists, like Budapest tattoos, like whatever city you're going to, like type in that city and then tattoos after it. And you'll start to find a bunch of different accounts. Uh, majority of the ones that will probably pop up first are like tattoo shops themselves. And if you explore those a little bit more, then you'll be able to find like specific artists. Maybe you like somebody's style more than like another person. Sometimes too, I'll like cross reference with Google um, just to make sure like the place has like good reviews and things like that. And that it is a good, like reputable tattoo shop. And I'm not like going into someone's shady basement or something weird. Instagram, I would say, and Google. And just like take your time and keep, keep searching. 
but also like plan ahead of time. Yeah, because the ones that we, well, the ones that she has found, you know, it wasn't something that we looked up and then two days later went to the shop. You know, we had booked these things. Before we even got weeks, there. Weeks, almost months in advance, just to confirm, hey, we've got our spot, we've put our deposit. Um, you know, we, we want to make sure this is a reputable deal. So mm -hmm. um, take your time, find plan your ahead. plan ahead. Yeah. Do your research ahead of time. Talk to the tattoo artist. Book your appointments ahead too so that you're not running into they don't have any availability or like you can't go on the days that they do have availability. So just plan, plan, and research ahead of time. So the story behind my tattoo is the first Polish phrase that I learned. Um, I This is when we first started dating. Um, I had been practicing my Polish. I had been learning things on Duolingo. Shout out to Duolingo and Preach. And we were going over to her parents' place for the first time for Christmas. I was very nervous because I was, you know, I knew I was going to have to speak Polish to, to them. And we're sitting down um, and Anna goes, why don't you show my mom some of the, or show to my family some of the Polish that you've learned. Mind you, we practice this ahead of time, right? Like I taught Nick how to say like, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, like everything that you say when it's Christmas time, right? In my most confident voice, I said, Kot piem leko. I was absolutely mortified. I remember me and my brother Sebastian were both just like, what the f my dad's laughing. My dad does not laugh very often. He is a very like quiet man. Yeah. He bursts out into laughter and then my supportive Polish mom goes, good job, very good job, Nick. Like she's clapping, giving him an applause and me and Sebastian are just like, he just said the cat drinks milk, what the f yeah. So it's become a giant like inside joke, I guess like within the family of like, so that's that's why I got what I got. Um, so for me, I used to be like a server at a bar in downtown Chicago for about five years, and I got um, something that reminds me of like the bar that I used to work at. One of the fine dining restaurants inside the bar was called Cherry Circle Room, and they used to have these really really cool like unique flags, I guess, inside of them, and I got one of the flags tattooed on me yeah. <laughs> to remind myself of all the years I spent in the service industry. To all of you that I used to work with, I love you all and miss you very much. So where do we go for our tattoos in Krakow? Do you remember the name of the tattoo shop? I... This is how much I actually planned. <laughs> I just, I don't remember. What was it going? Krakowska Pracownia Tatuaż. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's where we went. Mm -hmm. How was our experience? I liked my experience a lot. My tattoo artist was pretty cool. I had been following her a long time online actually. So I knew like even before, like when we knew we were going to Poland a long time, like I started trying to find like tattoo artists in Krakow and like I found my tattoo artist Victoria first online. And then I remember we were trying to like I like then saw there was a shop and like with the idea that you had, I like looked who else works at the shop that would have like a similar style as to like what you liked and then that's how we found your tattoo artist. So for me, 10 out of 10. Victoria, if you're watching this, cool as hell, loved it. We chatted a lot. My experience was great uh, as well. Uh, my tattoo artist's name was Kuba. He was a, uh, an aspiring illustrator uh, and he is very good with very fine line work. Um, that's why we, we chose him. Kind of made an ass of myself when, during the appointment. Um, I was trying to tell him that uh, like I'm kind of a pussy when it comes to pain. So I was trying to say like, I am a pussy uh, in, Polish. in Polish, which I instead said, JS pussy, which means where is the pussy and this, Nice gentleman <laughs> looked at me and he goes, what? <laughs> so I, I will never forget that moment. I wish that we were vlogging when this happened because it literally was just like, yeah, this is a full circle this, moment for I'm Nick I'm like this right close now. to this dude's face when he's tattooing my arm and I go, where's the pussy? <laughs> so it was a little awkward. <laughs> oh, I corrected myself fairly quickly. <laughs> I'm learning. It's a learning process. <laughs> It's a work in progress. I bet you Kubo will never forget that he moment. Probably, <laughs> not. probably not. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I hope we were able to answer all of your questions regarding international tattoos and getting tattooed overseas. If you have any more specific questions or want to know what we should do in the future or want to add anything, please feel free to leave a comment below. And we would also appreciate if you would like and subscribe so that you can follow us along on this tattoo adventure, traveling adventure, all of the above. Join the journey with us. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.